This is Fox 59 First at Four. And our top story first at four. Man is dead after an early morning shooting in the Crown Hill neighborhood. Police are still searching for that person or people responsible. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. I'm Daniel Miller. And I'm Max Lewis. This is the first homicide in that neighborhood since last October. And as Fox 59's Jesse Wells tells us, it's the same area being patrolled by a community watch group. Police are still investigating exactly what led to the shooting. This car was hit by more than a half dozen bullets, and the victim was found dead right behind the car. Surrounding homes were also hit by gunfire, which neighbors describe as terrifying. Shattered glass and pierced metal can be seen here on Illinois. The front window of this home was also broken during a shootout that left a 23-year-old man dead. I was sound asleep when I heard the gunshots, and it sounded like machine guns, shotguns going off. It sounded like a war zone, I'll put it like that. When police arrived overnight, they found the victim lying next to a still-running car on the sidewalk directly in front of John's home. Anytime a life is taken, you know, it just, our hearts goes out to the families of these individuals. When I woke up this morning and, and I heard about the shooting, I, I was somewhat uh, shocked because I've been walking uh, with OGs in that area. Reverend Charles Harrison with the Ten Point Coalition told me he patrolled this exact stretch of Illinois just six hours before the homicide. He says the neighborhood has had issues with drug dealing for a long time. There's drug trafficking you know, almost on all the streets in that area. And you cannot be everywhere all at the same time, and, and it's hard to stop, and, and that's part of what is so frustrating. Police won't confirm a motive for the shooting, but sources identify the victim as a 23-year-old man who, according to court records, was charged with drug dealing late last year, but was released on a $100,000 bond pending trial. The victim lived on the street where he was killed, his death marks the first homicide in the Crown Hill neighborhood this year. We really take it personal. We felt like we lost one of our own, and, and that's how we felt this morning, 10 point. We lost one last night. Finally, neighbors tell us some people were detained for questioning here at the scene, but IMPD says right now no arrests have been made. Jesse Wells, Fox 59 News. Jesse, thank you. Meanwhile, we have new details.